Morning, man. Welcome back, Black Street Boys Show, episode number noventa. You see it there. It's usually boy Brandon keep egging by Tricky Jones and Bala. What do you want to call me? The man to my left. It's boy March Man the Menace and Girl Motherfucker Dennis. Y'all know how you rocking, man. You already know who it is. The CEO of the Prayers, Rob the God, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. You got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Patreon. Discord, Discord numbers going every single week. Shout out to everyone in there. Three dollars spare change, extra three hour plus long podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, extra segments, things of that nature. Y'all get get up in there, man. Shout out to people that's already in there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's growing. And make sure you get in that Discord. Smaj being there streaming. Uh, I can say I'm going to stream too, but uh, light went out of my room. It's dark in there. I got I got to change that. Fair enough. <laughs> like the wiring's fucked up. Well, I mean messed oh, up. Really? Good lord. Mm-hmm. It's what, like it's like five minutes to the show before I do all that. But you know, what I'm saying we we ball regardless. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't sense that right there. But either way, hey, y'all see. That Lego shoe, if you own, you know what I'm saying, the visual podcast. If you're on the audio, you don't hear, you don't see it, obviously. You're just listening. But hey, but either way, no matter what platform you're on, go and check that link in the description to the mm-hmm. website. And y'all, we have a code, BSB Pod, BSB P O D. You get 10% off yes. site wide on your purchase. And you know, you're helping out the show, you're helping out yourself. Cause it's fun, man. You ain't never too old to build some build some stuff like that, man. Okay, let's get to it, man. Oh, I'm not gonna pray. I took a risk right there. Most of those tomatoes. <laughs> All right, y'all. This was a little sticky. Um, you know, it might pull on your moral strings a little bit. But mm. let's say you're in a store, right? Shit. And you're in the line to, you know, purchase your items. Mm-hmm. And you're behind somebody. So let's say you ask them to cut in front of them. And they say yes. Mm-hmm. And you get a prize for being that number customer in said store. Ooh. Who deserves the prize? Me. What's the, what's the, well, I don't really care. What's the prize? Money. Don't matter me. Oh, the money. Yeah, it don't matter me. How much money are we talking? Right. Does it really matter? Yeah, it yes. does. Because if it's like a hundred bucks, I'd be like, here, bro, thank you. Fuck you that. let me cut. I I'll give it to him. No, if it's hundred bucks, I'm taking that. Fuck that. Oh, if it's like yeah. twenty five dollars, you got that. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's say let's say is a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Oh, definitely. Yeah, oh, sorry. sorry, guy, you're gonna have to sit behind me. You let me cut. Sorry. Just getting pocketed. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, that what happened? Right. What does what is the stature of the person behind? <laughs> You know what? I don't like Could he whip my ass? Y'all, y'all, y'all bring it These, are valid, These are valid questions. They, they are, are but it's just like I didn't I mean, think that far ahead. Regardless <laughs> you know, like, of, even if I think he could whip my ass, I take the grand and dip and fuck the groceries. Yeah, because he put his hand, he, he shouldn't have let me cut. Bro. Someone asked me to cut That's me. That's how someone I asked, feel Someone asked to cut it. me, I'm telling his ass no. Right. Especially in the uh, fucking grocery store. I guess, I guess mm-hmm. it depends on what it is, though. Like If they have like, one item and you have a, you know what I'm saying, cart full of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I never have that. Facts. Agreed. Oh, I still wouldn't let him cut. Yeah, I'm not really the cutting type unless you have kids that are like acting a fool. Then I'm like, okay, yeah, go ahead. Get your, get their ass out the store. I still wouldn't do that. No. Shit, this saves me some time. Yeah, I mean, it saves me a headache. Yeah, y'all better than me. Not Shit. time, but headache. Oh, God. Hey, because if I'm in the grocery you. store, I'm trying to get in and out because I don't like being there. Agreed. I was good enough to do self checkout anyways, but you yeah. Know. But shit, all at this point, they all self checkout. Shit. Yeah, I, I do go to self checkout. I went to Walmart today. It's only two cashiers. Facts. Yeah, it's usually how oh, it is. Hey, what the hell are they paying them for? It's like that everywhere, though. Facts. Just being nice, trying to keep them, give them a job, I guess. I don't know. So y'all saying the person, so y'all saying the person who cut deserve the money? Nope. They deserve the money. I mean, that don't mean they getting it, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was just about to say, <laughs> yeah. What you mean by that? What? Shit, if they hit me with a, you are a hundred thousand customer. Here's a thousand dollars. Skedaddle. Play them out. <laughs> Yeah, very that guy gonna months. have to purchase his shit and find me in the parking lot if he can. <laughs> like. What you doing? Um, for me, I think the person who get, uh, gave the seat, the spot up, the person who like took the spot and actually initially won the money deserves it. That um, that don't mean shit. You giving no. it to him? No, I'm I, saying like the person who gave the spot up, they don't deserve it. Oh, I don't oh, think yeah. they, oh they don't. Yeah, yeah I don't no. think they deserve it. Why yeah. not? Because you could easily just said no. Right, well, they didn't. I, I'm not gonna call them an idiot because they didn't know. But I'm just saying, like, you could easily just you could have easily just said no. That's life, man. Say a lot of V. 
Oh, bro. It's what it is, I man. mean, like, it just happens. It, I And as the you can't even be mad at the other motherfucker because they didn't know either. Yeah, they didn't. You know what so I'm saying? Like, they didn't know. Right. It was no ill intent. So, right, exactly. Right. We just you know, two blind right. fools. Okay, the good Samaritan thing to do would be like, oh, just give it up. Okay, you were like, well, well, let's be honest. What percentage of the human beings are good Samaritans? Well, I Because I, 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 I don't think <laughs> I'm one of them. We can do them all. Shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> exactly. But, Shit, them it's, like, it's like the same thing. Like, if you found... So money in the wallet, what you doing? You taking the money or you, or you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for that, for that, I ain't doing that. You ain't taking, you ain't money, taking out the wallet? money out the no, wallet? If no. it's cash? What? Karma. I ain't messing with no card. Karma. Karma. Oh, no, no, I ain't messing with no card. Karma. You know, that, that's how I feel. I'm not messing with no card. You know why I'm taking the money? Fuck that karma stuff. You know what I'm taking the <laughs> money? You gotta learn, nigga. It's because <laughs> the one time I dropped my wallet and I had approximately thirteen dollars oh, in it, a Uber driver, <laughs> this nigga, a, a Uber driver. I'm so serious, or a DoorDasher, so yeah. serious, found it and saw my ID. Was like, oh, well, that's just around the corner. He dropped mm-hmm. it off. I said, thanks, bro. I didn't notice how quickly he dashed to his car, though. Yeah. So when I opened my wallet, I'm like, this motherfucker took my like $15. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I definitely, that shit, same shit happened to me. You know, I used to just Uber to work every day. That's fucked up. That's fucked uh-huh. up. You're already doing DoorDash, <laughs> nigga. That you just made him X-13. Fuck you. Free tip. Uh-huh. Hey, that nigga's trying to get back to his job. Nah, yeah. That's how you shit happen to me, though. Cause Cause you, I bet you ain't leave no tip. Hell no. Yeah, exactly. No. So you try to get his tip. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. But no, I'm definitely taking the money because you got to be responsible, That's bro. That's fair game. Yeah, you got to be responsible, worse. bro. I, I, I got to show, show you the repercussions of being irresponsible. And I feel you that. I feel you on that because now, now I don't carry cash unless I absolutely need to carry cash. Uh, I Facts. carry cash all the time. Oh, no. I don't lose my wallet, though. Fuck that. I lose that shit. Only I time I lose my wallet, I lose my wallet in the crib, bro. I lost Me my too. shit this morning. Yeah, I mean, shit. I was going bananas. It's mm-hmm. very, it's very losable. I don't even like bananas. It's that's, very losable object. It's in your family 100%. tree, though. Die. You're monkey. You like die. Like you both need to die. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, eat bananas with nobody looking. <laughs> Ooh, feel not ashamed. me. Hell no, that is ape food. I leave that to y'all. Nigga, deep throat bananas and shit. What? See, that's that's your fantasy. Or probably hey, your yeah. reality. Three shit. bites. Probably your reality. Oh my God. Okay, maybe four. <laughs> Three bites is... You don't even eat bananas. I, you don't I, don't. Know how many bananas. Man, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I put I'm my hands up. Bananas. I don't know. I don't eat bananas. Shit. I'm in a rush. Three bites. I ain't mad at you. I, ain't mad at I don't you. think I've ever rushed eating a banana before. Deep throat bananas. Like, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go somewhere. I feel you on that. And, and I ain't nothing. Like, I just I eat something. Really got that the, banana. Feel the need to rush, though. Yeah. No, I gotta, be, I, gotta go out. I gotta go out. You know what I'm saying? I gotta leave. Well, you, you, you can just embrace your... Outside. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just embrace your monkey tendencies. Walk around banana in here. Walking around. Uh, I thought to peel away first. I just had the banana raw dog. Walking around like McGill Gorilla. <laughs> that, that's even worse for some reason. That's just felt, that just feels weird. <laughs> I got to be somewhere. If I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to gotta get to the action. I can't walk around with that peel. Or shit. No, nah, walking no around with a peel as banana is so crazy right now. I ain't going to lie. But it's, Wait, you so, so you holding the banana peel? Well, I, didn't, I, didn't, I usually I peel it. I take a bite. I take the rest off. And I like this, Oh, it's gradually. He ain't just peeling it all the way down and then just holding I it. I feel like he peeled it. I've done that before. I do that sometimes. Though. Like, that's what? what? Why y'all like, doing that? That's Why y'all doing crazy. that? That's Why y'all doing that? It's weird. It's, it's just so weird. The only time that's viable is if oh you're like gosh. dicing up bananas. What's wrong? I, like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I say anything's wrong. It's just weird. Like It's strange. The peel is usually there to protect you know the banana from... Cause if you holding it, you gonna be squishing it. I'm not. I'm not. I, you don't got to fist the banana. Well, that's what it sounds like you're doing. Shit. No. What, well, nigga? Nah. You hold it by the end. Nah. you hold it, you hold it, it by the end. If, you, if, it's, if it's fully naked, unsheathed. <laughs> unsheathed. That's a good word. I like that. <laughs> Then you guys just, you know what I'm saying? You just oh, the nail. 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 That's what you need, right, yeah, monkey? Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> See, see, y'all guess. <laughs> like, y'all guess. See what they do. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. You see what they do. Oh you see what they do. Man. Anyway, yeah, man, the money, the, the money gone. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think gone. it belongs to the person who you gave the spot to. Hell yeah, they're gonna be in the dark, man. Shit, fuck it. it. Meant, it and maybe can, next time, moment. Yeah, right. Maybe next time, you know, next time you ain't gonna get that spot up. And it's crazy yeah. how the universe works. But imagine. Imagine it's <laughs> other way around. It's me. No, no, I'm I saying salty than a motherfucker. No, I'm the ass. I'm like, hey, imagine man, you know it's the spot. person behind you. Like, let's say they gave the spot up, but instead of them getting the money, it was the other way around. Yeah, I mean, I'd be, be blue, funny. but I would oh. just walk away. Like, I wouldn't be tweaking. No, I, nah, I wouldn't be tweaking about it either because, like, it's like you said, it's two blind mice. You ain't really know. I, so, I, like, yeah, yeah, I'd right. be blue, mm-hmm. but it's all right. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, damn. The real could have been me. The real jackass is the cashier. Oh, Facts, because he watched it happen. They probably don't even know. Nah, they definitely be paying attention. You got motherfuckers <laughs> in your line. You definitely paying attention. I don't know. I don't know. They, I like, they know be, like what the shit. I might I say know. a little shitty comment like, 
That motherfucker paying with EBT. That nigga don't. Get tipped. <laughs> <laughs> wait, give wait, wait. Cash. So y'all wouldn't give y'all wouldn't give the brother person some of the money uh, if they was like super cool or something. I would yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd give him get some a money. nigga gas money. Maybe I slide on a hundred. I give him gas money. Yeah, if I got a rack, I slide him a hundred. You know, yeah, we maybe I maybe talk about something that. like that because that yeah. would subside. But the, no, uh, they, we don't have time for all that. Time for all. I'm gonna get the information so I can sell them later. Hell no. No, I mean, what if they just handed you a band though? Yeah, all cash. Yeah. I just be like, all right, here. Like, I, 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 hand him, I hand him a blue, like, here you go, bro. That shit fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Like we with the you pop, ain't getting all this shit. Nothing. Yeah, you ain't getting all this shit. Oh, C-Note's crazy. I'm getting that nigga a dub. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> Thank right. you for the <laughs> spot. God damn. I give you, him pay, a... you pay for him lunch. You pay for his lunch. The fuck? Bar Gas. Stuff. I'll give him a honey bun. Or a honey. Yeah, I would give him a honey. Whatever. Don't matter. Hey man, y'all see y'all see that solar eclipse yesterday, man. Yeah, man. Fucking y'all see that solar eclipse yesterday. Oh hell yeah. Man. Yeah, man. It's fucking yeah. Got, you had the glasses, you had the shades. Hell no. No, but um, when, when me and my, like when, me, when me and my that's <laughs> right. dog in it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got glasses on right now, shit. Um, but me and my short, uh, one of the shorties from my job, we went to go see it, and a white lady pulled up on us. and was like, "Hey, don't look at the damn." I'm like, "What the fuck?" She started screaming and shit. And she's like, "Don't look at the light. You're gonna hurt yourself." I'm, oh, my bad. And then she was like, she just brought some glasses. Oh, but she was, you was looking at it just not like staring at it like a dumbass. But I'm just like, I would like peek a little bit, like see if I yeah, see yeah, it. type shit. Yeah, yeah, shit was bright as fuck. Like yeah. I couldn't just it's stare like, at it. Just looked like a big. It honestly made the sun look bigger. Honestly, yeah, for mm -hmm. real. It's like a big ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. light, but like, it was cool to see with the glasses on though. Yeah, I saw. I had a pair of glasses at the gas station. Lady, let me use yeah. her thing. Oh, uh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I had no glasses. I was you, at the crib. You spiritual motherfuckers was pissing me off about that. What? Oh, God, about God. that damn eclipse. Mm. What? What's up? What's you up? Two, these, these niggas getting strange psychosis and shit, <laughs> putting it on TikTok, talking about we're getting powers, we're <laughs> niggas are oh, dying. Yeah. Yeah, mistaking uh, the eclipse for the apocalypse. Ain't there like an eclipse like almost every year? Nah. Somewhere? Yeah, every like 15, 20 years, something like that. Well, no, I'm saying like, well, say the next well, one when we see a solar four. eclipse? Yeah. Well, that's when we see it, but. Like four years, oh. Australia's it's gonna be right. Australia's gonna see. Like, oh yeah, I guess oh, you're yeah, right. right. Or that, or Oceania. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I ain't the nigga that. I don't know. Maybe not every year, but like you know, they ain't, they ain't like. I mean, they're pretty goddamn rare. But like, you know, niggas act right. like every solar eclipse, niggas just die. Like these well, that's a lot of people saying. They were saying that no, we're gonna end on April eighth. Idiots. My stupid ass didn't know it was a solar eclipse, so I'm trying to figure out why. Niggas who yeah. wear. My fucking mama told me about that right when it was happening. Looked outside, it got dark all of a sudden. It was just dim. It right, that shit was dark. fire. Was, that shit was kind of cool. It looked kind of cool. It looked kind of cool. cool. Yeah, but say real niggas ain't need no sunglasses, though. Facts. I don't bear that. Facts. And my mom was like, don't look right at it. Ah. No, you look right at that thing. <laughs> <man. laughs> nigga's stupid. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really like right after she told you it was crazy. <laughs> you can't go catch you, in, you really in touch with yourself. wait a few minutes and then you, you walk away or something. No. Nigga just yeah, did. No, man. That's wild. No. No, that clip's cool, though. <laughs> no. Because it's fake news. You know what I'm saying? Y'all worry about, what's going to bring your shit to a crisp? You're going to burn a hole in your retina. Fake news, man. Look at that thing, bro. Fake Get in news. touch with your real celestial man. inner being. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He Waking yourself. He just said himself that he was peeking. <laughs> that shit hurt, man. <laughs> I was trying though. It do hurt. It do hurt. <laughs> I was trying though. No, it do hurt. <laughs> I was trying. Yeah, man. Hey, definitely. Cause I looked up that first time. <laughs> Got back on the video game. Motherfucking aim was off. Yeah, that when he Girl, I was with. She was laughing in my you ass. Look, you gonna look? Like, oh, what? I look like an old man in that my ass. Hmm? Oh God, you gonna oh, look God. that nigga when he looked at King Neptune's head? <laughs> Bolt my eyes! Bolt, 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 bolt. Denning, denning, denning. bro. No, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, it was, it was cool, cool nah, little experience. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I go okay. I wish that's, you had a, the that's my one, first but. one. I had never seen one before. Mm. No, I feel like, one it's one it's I feel like it's been happening. Like it's been happening. We just wasn't paying no yeah. attention. Um, but then. One of my science classes, we went out and looked at a solar eclipse. We had glasses and everything. I oh, remember shit. That. Yeah, that. Be nice. yeah, they ain't do us like that, man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I ain't gonna stick too much on that, man. We know it's, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all was looking without glasses, the real ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just doing things. People tell you that's what you can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm to but I wouldn't good. say promote looking at the damn sun. No, no, I promote it. You never sun gazed? I no. have. It's you never sun gazed? Not really. Like, no. just look at the sun? Nah, not really. I've done that before. But how long? Like a Super Saiyan powers or something? Like, like honestly, like I mean, my, my shit was burning like a motherfucker, but it was about <laughs> ten, it was about ten seconds though. <laughs> it's called gazing, not staring, nigga. Y'all like like motherfuckers staring at them. I guess, yeah, it's best yeah. Okay, that's fair. Hey, yo, shit, malfunctioning. Shit, that shit hurt like a motherfucker, but I did it though. Mm. Probably why I can't see too good. No, nah, I mean it runs in the field. We all blind as hell. It didn't help though. 
And my but, time you know, coming. Anyways, 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 y'all, y'all listen to this podcast. Yes, sir. There's an elephant in the room right now. Mm-hmm. We Great talked thing. about the we talked about it a little bit, but you know, some new things that came up. And uh man. Man, oh man. Actually, no, we we didn't get to record it. Yeah, we haven't talked about this the disc in general though. Y'all know J. Cole dropped that disc. On Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. had the whole mixtape going on. Mm-hmm. A lot of, lot of different opinions on the internet, and I'm just gonna say most of them shits was awful. Ass. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this is why. I, you know what? And Brandon, I didn't listen to Brandon. I, I usually do. Brandon's like, oh, you need to stay away from Twitter. And usually I do, but for some odd reason, no, I wanted to. I wanted to, you know, explore this one. And yeah. boy, was I frustrated. Niggas are stupid. You just say anything. They can say anything. Bro. Anything. <laughs> like, damn. Niggas said this is a slam poetry battle, bro. Like, had me what? That shit that's kind of how rap beef rolling. is, though. Exactly. Bro, that's what I was saying. Say, niggas be taking all that shit to heart. Like, do you know, these motherfuckers are just spinning poetry really hard at each other. Literally. <laughs> really, literally. <laughs> and like, in a, lot of, in a uh, lot of, like, I've seen, like, Suge Knight comment and all these Suge other- Knight. Yeah, mm. Suge Knight had put out a piece about it, how he, you know, J. Cole weak as hell for doing all that. And it's just crazy, the West Coast rap and all this other shit. Shut mm. up. Like, you're old as shit, for one. First of all, did you play a part in East versus West? <laughs> Nigga, what are you talking like, about? Like, and yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like people are just taking it too far. They just... Uh. It is making it more than yeah, what it need to be. It just seems like people want them to fucking battle, battle to the death. Yeah, like, it's like, to be it's like, like that's what I get from uh, Joe Budden. I don't know if y'all seen his. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This is fucking ridiculous. Joe Budden's I, not a good artist. Nigga, right. we need to start. <laughs> what happened into looking at facts? We need. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> facts. And like he critiques so hard. Like you pump, would think he was pump, like a pump it up. Like, hey, that logic. Think, <laughs> no, you would think he was like the cream of the crop of rappers or something. The way oh he critiques every rapper. Yeah, bro, shit's actually insane. He did say pump. Pump, pump, pump yeah, it up. bro, it's crazy. What? Seventeen like, times over, bro. Well, get him out of here. That's my the biggest thing hit, is, though. It was a hit. What happened to looking at rap like sports? Like, mm-hmm. yes, that's what I was looking. I yes. look at rap like WWE. Like, whoa, what these motherfuckers about to show up and do today? Like, mm-hmm. literally, bro. But for the sake of entertainment, for the purpose of entertainment, J Cole could have did better than that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he definitely could have done better. I just viewed it as passive aggressive. But it is. But at the other oh. hand. Let's just the other elephant in the fucking room. So we're going to talk about this. Y'all pointed at the wrong nigga. What the fuck is Drake doing? <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was what the coming. fuck is Drake doing? He on what? IG, bro. He getting, uh, he getting everybody primed up for it. Man, uh-huh. fuck that. When it was Pusha T, nigga, it took you two days. That's 48 hours mm-hmm. to get and write that disc. But honestly, I mean, let's keep it a buck, though. The first thing I thought of when I heard the song it was like which one? Seven? You talking about seven minutes drill? Yeah, I was like, mm-hmm. is this because they don't want the smoke? <laughs> I I was I really started to believe they don't want smoke with Kendrick only because they he know he's gonna get dusty. Your body. I J Cole your body. definitely don't, but like you saw what no. he said. You saw and and it's just thing I've been saying before. I don't think I I don't think he really wanted. Obviously, he, to me, it was obvious he didn't want to do that shit. Yeah, right. he didn't want to do that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and but. I wouldn't go as far to say, oh, because they're brothers, they're best friends. I don't know either of these niggas. For real? Um, no, for real though. I don't know no, what the fuck's the relationship. I've heard them record a couple songs together. Motherfuckers don't pull like footage of them hanging some out pictures. and shit, and they talking about their best friends. Like, I'll, you never hung out with your co-workers and your colleagues Literally. and shit? Like, but, I mean, they could be friends, but could I be, doubt right. they're best friends. But right. to make that statement is kind of wild I mean, because you don't know them. They yeah. were, they seemed close. They was going to each other's uh, album, yeah, yeah. album releases and shit. And it was gas each other up. Of being each other out okay. on stage. Yeah, and type shit. So it, like it seems like they have a relationship of some sort, but yeah. it might just be better. Some sort know? of respect. Yeah. Well, I think they have to the respect. They might They might even like each other. I think like, they still have to the respect. Bullshit, though. Yeah, I, I would assume so. But for the sake of entertainment, nigga. But I don't know these, but I'm not going to sit here and just speculate too much on yeah, their relationship. Nah, I don't know these niggas. Don't niggas they don't know me. I, I didn't give a fuck if Undertaker and Triple H were fucking friends outside the ring. Yeah, Motherfucker, yeah, I wanted ridiculous. to see somebody get slammed. Uh, that's, don't that's, care. It, pause. Yeah, that was, that was pause. pause. No, no, no. no. no pause. Go ahead and play it that. Was it was bars. No Diddy, but... <laughs> Stop saying that. No I do not like that oh. trend. I do not like that at all. Like, no Diddy is the normal. That's the norm. Why are we saying no Diddy as if it's that... No Diddy should be normal. Too. What you mean? What you mean? What? No Diddy should be normal. <laughs> He's saying no Diddy... As in, like, oh, that's that, you know, that weird shit. Like, nigga, that's the normal. Don't, don't say no Diddy. I'm not following. I I'm don't also un- not following. I don't understand why you would seem to see, need to say no Diddy. Oh, are you, are you following? Because he's slamming oh. niggas. I didn't say no Diddy. Oh, okay. So I guess he's just saying pause. Oh, you're so saying like what he said niggas. was no. Wait, no, because you, you just didn't you say pause. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I thought, I thought you paused him. Yeah, you did pause him. 
What? When he said slamming niggas. Trying to see niggas get slammed. Yeah, but no Diddy just... We already have pause. Don't put no Diddy on that. No. I mean, I mean, you just add no Diddy. I don't like no Diddy. Just add no more versatility to the equation. A little, little, little hot pepper. Versatility? Quality is funny for that. I do not want Diddy brought up. I don't want to talk about that motherfucker. I mean, okay. He is a cancer that. for the black community. He man. Is. Yeah. Regardless, though, well, let's get niggas. back to this J. Cole shit, man. That fucking right. seven minutes of drill. It wasn't it was it wasn't man, that it bad. was indolent. It was indolent to me. It, um, he, it wasn't that bad. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was uh it, it's it was the it seemed like there oh, wasn't spell a, it. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah, well, I, I can lie. spell it. I don't even know what the fuck it means. I'll spell it. Beautiful naked oh, pictures and women just don't. You no, know, it was crazy. I knew the button. I knew the button too. I was like, no, it ain't that. Indole. Okay, let me do it one more time. Indole. I N D O L E N T. Is that yes, not how you spell that's it? That's correct. Nice. It's like a very simple nice, word man. to spell. Nice. Yeah. I feel like you be projecting, DJ. I feel like you don't really mm -hmm. know how to spell these words. You be like, spell it on the easy ass mm -hmm. words. I'm like, do you think this word's complicated enough for a nigga to misspell it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 You see what they do? <laughs> if y'all ain't watching, y'all ain't watch, If y'all if y'all listening, bro, you you you, you point that smile. Yes, yes, I did. It's crazy. <laughs> the only reason the skit was brought up because of that nigga. Yeah, he, <laughs> mis yeah, he, he misspelled. Boss. He misspelled. You know, he had shoulder. It. Oh, relative. Yeah. Relative laughing, shoulder man. neurons. Like, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Facts neurons too. Right. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> but no. Anyway, but, uh, it just seemed uh, like it seemed like there wasn't a lot. <laughs> it seemed like there wasn't a lot of effort put forward into it. Well, like, don't get me wrong. He had some. He had some bars in there, like the New Jack City bar. He had the Stone Temple Pilot bar. Yeah, that shit was hard. But his diss was just saying that like T Pab isn't as good as people made it out to be, and Miss Morales and the Big Steppers was trash. It didn't like, sound he, believable. Sure. Yeah, like, didn't. yeah, like, like, really like did you Cole? Do you believe that? that? Like, <laughs> he was like, Cole, do you believe that? Yeah, it was just, but but, but then again, it's like, it's like, like, what's he gonna say though? Facts. I, that diss was. But my diss only thing is, my only thing is just like, you just echoing what Twitter other Twitter niggas are saying. Exactly. Facts. And these niggas have, do not know how to rap at all. So yeah. and you do. I think, you're very good. Like, you're very good at it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I think I just been looking at the beef just like J. Cole has been saying for years, oh, I'm number one, I out rap any nigga. So I want to hear you out rap Kendrick. Like I want to hear you spit some bars at I feel like, you. God damn. That, like Johnny P's caddy, he rapping his nah, he ass did. off on that yeah, song. Yes. I want to hear shit like that. Like nigga, spit your shit. But yes. you just on some I mean, <sighs> that J. Cole, shit, was, I mean Tap was, in Jit. Tap in. It ain't right. gonna happen, bro. It well, come tap down. in. It's just a lot of things that I just that I just see on there. It just made me shake my head. And people, I just get so caught up in just being the consumer, or like I don't see being like a follower too. But you can relate it to the consumer. It, it's just it's so strange to me because people like they're so firm on everything they believe. Like this, like everything mm -hmm. is so drastic. Mm -hmm. As soon as shit hits the fan, is uh, all is. The world's just falling apart. Mm -hmm. The world's just falling apart. Now it's like, oh, we can never respect J. Cole again. Oh, he's not part of the big three now. Oh, this and that. It's like, you niggas are so dramatic. Yeah, yeah they really are. And, you know, it, it, and like niggas that claim to be longtime fans, posting videos of themselves, deleting his catalog from their libraries. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, that's corny. Niggas are dweebs. That's, that's corny. corny. I will that's agree, though. Dweebs. I will agree, though. Drake, or not Drake, uh, J. Cole cannot be saying he's going bar for bar with niggas when he has yet to go bar for bar with this nigga. Just well, saying. Just the way saying. I look at it is almost like, I think you could first of all it's just rap it's just rap bravado everyone does it right. you know I don't really right. take that shit to heart if it sounds good it sounds good if it's a slick bar it's a slick bar I don't really give a damn everyone says they're the best or whatever the case may be I don't give a fuck but you know I look at it this way yeah he's saying he can out rap anybody and whatever you kill you on a feature whatever the case may be uh, vast majority of these niggas he's definitely doing that Right. He's yeah. already proved that. Yeah. No, there's just a couple of niggas that he's not doing that with. Right. And I honestly, want, it, it's almost like I rap the niggas calling him out. It's almost like it's almost like, like in the, they're his peers. I saw in an interview a couple of years ago. He was talking about how, um, he was talking. He was on Kevin Durant. He was talking about how him, uh, Kendrick and Drake can like relate to him on a certain level. And like, obviously, you know, Kendrick Lamar and Drake relate to him on a certain level that. No one else really relates to him on, and that's kind of mm. like I said, being a part of that big three, or having that sort of spotlight mm -hmm. and the, the <clears> pressure <throat> on you at times. We like to look at these guys and say, "Oh, they're making millions of dollars rapping this and that." I don't think y'all really want their lifestyle though, no. and I don't think you guys really want to do what they do. No. I mean, there's cons to everything. It ain't mm. easy to do nothing. It's, it's always it's, green on the other side. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just try to, from a consumer, but also as a creator, I try to think of both sides as much as I can. I think too often, 
sometimes it's when you're on the creator side too or the leader side too, you know, we get so caught up in just our perspective. Mm -hmm. We forget that our perspective is just our perspective right. and it's not a fact. Mm -hmm. And you can be disappointed. You can not like something, but that doesn't just discredit everything they are and who they are as people, you know. And like I say, he went and he apologized. And can I understand why people are disappointed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at the same point in time, I actually respect what he did as a man. Me agree. Agreed. Mm -hmm. So I'm... It he didn't chose feel right in his heart. He chose himself, shit. You know? Rather than... Not, they're anything? not fucking monkeys. They're not here just to entertain you constantly. Like literally, literally. They've been entertaining you, entertaining millions of people for over a decade. Mm -hmm. And they, some one thing happens and now it's just everything is gone. Yeah, You niggas real. are childish. It's like everything's always oh, battle. Rap mm. is about battle. It's about war. They talk about motherfucking L Cool J and some other niggas <laughs> and shit like this. Like, nigga, like, come on, bro. Like, that ain't all it is. It's also just art. Mm. And it's also just art at the end of the day. Yes, rap. That is part of what rap is, but mm -hmm. it isn't what it's limited to. It doesn't always have to be that. Right. And I understand why you're disappointed because J. Cole, you might have thought it was one way because he's saying this. I understand you. I can see why you're deceived. Mm -hmm. But I like to look at it in the way as, you know, Mike Tyson didn't want to fight Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. He want to fight his peers, people that he highly respected like that. Mm -hmm. No, he see some of these other niggas that's rapping, he, yeah, he probably would if they try to test him. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, Oh, I can understand this also the stance of oh fight someone your own size, but you know, there's different things. Like I said, he they came up in a way together. Like he wanted to he told Dr. Dre about Kendrick. Yeah. Right. You know, he wanted to mm -hmm. sign Kendrick. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's different. And they're this is not that deep like it is with Drake and Kendrick. And even them, I don't know how deep it is with them niggas. I don't know. Right. I also saw Kendrick ten years ago made fun of him for wearing pajamas and yeah. <laughs> that that is him like, fan. so I'm just like I don't I, I, it's just childish man. I don't know I saw people bring up uh, American Dream they were saying that uh, Kendrick got bodied on that song he didn't rap he did it. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. He did it right now. He literally was like, these trees ain't for ball. Yeah, like, like, he was in that melodic thing. Yeah, like, in fact, I can see, like, he actually put the pin on there. Like, relax, dude. Well, American Dream, uh, they that's didn't tell him. They didn't tell him that he was going to be on the same song as uh, J. Cole. Really? J. Cole. Mm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they didn't tell him. Uh, the What's the nigga name, bro? Sounds stupid. Um, oh, to my Jeezy. It was a Jeezy record. Yeah, it's a Jeezy record. Was it Jeezy record? Yeah. yeah. It was Jeezy and someone else, I want to say, though. Oh, I don't know who else. Well, actually, no, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm yeah, not, I, I'm, done, I'm actually, yeah, done, I'm actually done guessing. Yeah, yeah facts. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only song I listen to out that record. I'm, I facts. <laughs> agreed. Agreed. <laughs> no. I, ain't, I ain't even try to listen to nothing else. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, yeah man, I just think people just they, listen. People just take it too far, bro. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of yeah. this kind of does go into <clears throat> my philosophy about forgiveness mm -hmm. and everything. And I got a little something written up for y'all, man. It's uh. Something I've realized is that emotions can cloud our judgment. In the way that you can't see your reflection in boiling water, it's hard to see the truth in anger. The truth is, we're all human. We all make mistakes, mm -hmm. but that doesn't condemn us forever. Good people can make bad choices. It doesn't define their character. It simply just shows their humanity. Bars. Well, like that. <laughs> and like, that's, that's nothing that blows me about that situation. This stems in so many different things. We we'll have to just stay on this, but just like we look at these guys and we're saying like, oh, this contradicts what he said before, blah blah blah, whatever the case may be. Or he said he he succumbed to peer pressure and because he was saying all his all his niggas, all his friends were saying, oh, what you gonna do, bro? Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. what you gonna, all his fans saying, what you gonna do, bro? We right. need you to tap in. In his heart, he didn't even want to go at Kendrick Lamar, yeah. right. but he succumbed to the peer, peer pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. and he put him back into a dark place that he thought that he had escaped. If you look back around the time he released uh, False Prophets, mm -hmm. he was wrapped something bars, something along the lines of you know. He's kind of done doing things just because that's what people want him to do. He's yeah. living his life for himself. Mm -hmm. And it's, when he finally started living like that, started growing his hair out, got the nappy ass dress, people talking about, oh, you dressed homeless. He, he being himself. Mm -hmm. But he was in this most happy state in his life. Like, it seemed like yeah. got kids, wife, all of that. And when he went out and stepped and succumbed to that peer pressure again, it put him back into that dark place. Mm -hmm. He didn't like that mindset. He didn't like how he <laughs> felt about it. So he made a he made a mistake in his opinion, in yeah. his from his perspective, and that's the thing. Just because people act like because you learn something or you grow from something that is impossible to go back for for a regression, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it happens. Yeah, and that's why that's also why it probably feels so bad because once you feel like you've gotten past that, you feel like you you're better than that now mm -hmm. for yourself. When you go back to that, you feel shitty. Yeah, yeah. you feel. Yeah, I think you have to have a whole lot of balls to get up there, knowing damn well millions of people are going to crucify you for doing what you're doing. 
And people are going to tell you how to live your life all the damn time, but no one's got to live in your shoes every day besides you. So, yep. you know, fuck them at the end of the day. Agreed. They're going to say what they're going to say. There's hella lessons to be learned from this beef. There's hella lessons to be learned from this, honestly. And the main one, the biggest one, honestly, is to do what the fuck you want to do. Yes. Shit, he didn't start feeling like shit until, shit. He, until he started doing what mother, other motherfuckers told him to do. What he should do is look at the motherfucker that was talking the most. Nigga, get that drink. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want drink dead. That's what it sounds Get like. that drink. Y'all crown light skin prince. Get at that nigga. <laughs> y'all think he, he y'all come? Think he gonna say something? Make a response song to J Cole? No, no. Uh, I don't think he's gonna make a whole song, but I think gonna be some bars will be said about his ass. Yeah. It's like okay, like kind of like some obvious shit. Like oh, T Pab born. Okay, nigga, <laughs> you did drop for your eyes only. That, that's what I was gonna say. I was bro, just gonna say, bro. And you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Album that people bro. said they fell asleep to. I'm so I glad like that you brought album that up. A lot. I do not. Ones by them. I just listened to it two days ago, trying to you know trying to like because I was seeing all the shit on Twitter. And, you know, people saying T-Pap is boring and all this other shit. So I'm like, all right, let me look at, you know, because I remember not liking that album. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me check it out again. You know, it's been a couple years. Maybe it'll hit different. It did not. It okay. did. It, it, bro, <laughs> it did not. Bro. It did not. That's killing me. Uh, I actually grew to like that album a lot. Not, that album I didn't like it so much. You like Folding Clothes. That's one song. And, but that's like universally thought as the worst fucking song. Really? Really? No yeah. one likes this. Not to I, say no I, one. I did see I'm on Twitter. I'm I did see people on Twitter trashing it though. They've that, trashing that for years. Yeah. I used to trash it. I he told used to you trash me for it. You that, 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 I, used, I used to say that album. I used to say that album was a snooze fest. But honestly, now I like that album a lot. It's one of my favorites. But I think that it's probably like it. a top, not counting kind of mixtapes, probably like a top two or three project for him in my oh, opinion. Wow. Oh, really? Wow. You by yourself with that? I think I like only. That. I think I only like Vil Mentality off there. Mm-mm. Oh, I like Vil Mentality. I like For Whom the Bell Tolls. You know, like Whom the, the, the Bell the, Tolls the, is the only song uh, I like. Whom the Bell Tolls the intro, but also, no, I like, I, like, I, like, I, like, I like the She's Mine's too. I only like the oh, first one. Oh, you know one. what? She's Mine part but two is on there, The right? outro? I don't remember the outro. For Your Eyes Only? Like the, the title track? Oh, yeah, I don't like that one. I don't have Wait, you was talking about the story about the daughter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like that one. Why not? I don't know. I just didn't fuck with it. And I'm gonna say it's ass. I'm not gonna say it was ass. Snooze fest. Well, but I, I will like, say the beat on that was cold. The beat it don't, that was cold. it don't tickle my eardrums in such a fashion that um. It was similar like instrumentation that you heard on To Pepper Butterfly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it just didn't tickle my and eardrums. It's true, like in he such brought a full, he brought a full circle too. Mm-hmm. About, about the whole entire time, we whole entire time we didn't realize that he was talking about one of his one of his friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he wrote that for his. The album was really dedicated to his daughter, and mm-hmm. I thought it was beautiful. Well, you know, I'm happy for you, man. That shit trash. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It should not trash. <laughs> should not trash. That boy's so stern with his I'm words, sorry. bro. I'm that's just hilarious. It should not trash. It's not trash. It's not even a bad song by any means. Mm, not it's just not a it's not a playlist not, for yeah, me. For me, it just I didn't well, tickle my fancy. Not just a playlist, but in terms of just like the, the, the album. Yeah, if we're doing the album in totality, well, yeah, it definitely works. That's another thing. I can relate to like Kendrick's albums. People get Miss Brown the Big Steppers or T Pab because it's I can't not, bump it in my it's car not randomly. an album that you put on shuffle. Mm. Even though they have songs in there that you can bump that you in there. Well, yes, d- yes, of course. But you know, it's not I can understand it's not everyone's cup of tea, but mm. yes. some albums are just meant to be like albums listened yeah, to in right. totality. Yeah, you have to listen to it the whole way through. I, say, I look at it like 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 when you watch like one of your favorite movies, you're not necessarily gonna watch it every fucking day from right. start to finish. Mm. Right. But you Thanks. know, that doesn't take away from what it is. It's not meant to be what you guys think. People are still caught up in what they want things to be. Mm-hmm. And they get so, and it really, they're being biggest. And it's all subconscious. And it just honestly is very strange to me. But, you know, Speaking of everyone's other, experts on things too. Yeah. But. Speaking of other things that's strange. I know, I know y'all have seen the whole soft boy era movement going on on social media. I have not. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm in my soft I don't boy. Be, I, you I'm know, in my soft boy era. Your boy try oh, to yeah, avoid social media, <laughs> honestly. Era. You try to avoid it as much as you can. So, soft boy era, because, you know, women don't get it. They don't They don't get it. They hate it. They're, they're making fun of men. Can you explain? Yeah. I'm about to explain. They're making fun the of men. I don't know what the hell it is. It's basically they're saying, oh, well, I haven't had a car for a while. She, My girlfriend used to let me drive her car, but then I broke up with her. I had to work on myself. Crazy at that's shit women say. Mm-hmm. He, they're ba- he's basically saying the same thing women say, but saying it back. Oh, he's flipping the script to see how. Oh, it's, so he them left them to work on himself. Like he's make, flipping got the script you, to make it sound. You, got you. Sounds like they sound basically. Uh, okay, I see. And what you're they're saying. making they're making niggas sound stupid. <laughs> the guy said, "I need eighty dollars for a haircut, or oh, I need sixty dollars for lunch," mm-hmm. but. Oh, He's what? sounding like they're, the women uh, that say they're, they're they're flipping the script. Yeah. So yeah. You, how we were talking about how much it costs to upkeep a uh, upkeep 
your woman, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They're just flipping the skip and saying it back so that they can hear how crazy some of the things they say sound. And women are livid. They're um, making, of course, they are. They're making whole articles and shit about this yeah, now. Yeah. This, this soft boy era shit. I don't even don't really, really give a fuck about it. That's just just hilarious. Some it's of the funny. some of the shit on there is fucking hilarious. It's just funny. It's just I, funny I, I, to I hope see I the see reactions. It. I hope I see it. It's just funny I, to see I, the reactions. I've been on Twitter it. too. I've not seen anything I seen about it. soft boy. I think it's mainly on TikTok. Yeah, it's a TikTok. It's a TikTok. I only go on TikTok because fucking Lando. Yeah, Lando sees like forty goddamn TikToks in a day. I don't know about that, but you know, okay. Watch the food videos. The women are are livid. I'm telling you, they're making. And posts and articles. I guess that makes sense it. though, because we were pretty pissed. No, about what soft girl era shit? Not at all. I don't. The think whole, I'm just a girl the whole, thing. The, but, the whole you know requesting for shit and you know that didn't bother some of y'all. What? What request? Motherfucker is I just oh I need my nails I, done. That, I need this done. Like that's always been that's always been the world though. It's like bars, that's nothing. Facts. None of that was surprising to me. Right, but did we did we not have a issue with it? I'm not gonna do I mean, it either way. Right. Like if, if I'm not if I don't <laughs> fuck with it, it's not getting done. You know? Of course. Don't get me course. wrong. If my, if my girl treat me good and do this and that for me and she a good partner, then I will obviously yeah. reciprocate those things. Yeah. I ain't paying for them nails goddamn every time though. You right, that's what I'm crazy. saying. Yeah. You know, they because well, they also want to upcharge it when you pay. Facts. They don't get those two hundred fifty dollars nails when they Facts. go. Facts. Facts. That's what I'm now saying. Now they getting all kind of designs. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I went. I do it every once in a while. I went yeah, with the next exactly. one time to get her nails done. A couple of times, like two or three times ago, watch her get her nails done. And I watched how much she paid that woman. She only paid about sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. That's the most I've ever seen her pay for nails. <laughs> With that being said, bitch, sixty dollars should be your cap. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Just saying. I ain't mad at that. See, that's why you gotta go though. See, I know a lot of niggas. They don't want to. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to send this nail salon. I want to see what I'm paying why for. You get, thank you. There you go. I want to see the. See, if you're really for. finance friendly, you gonna know because if she go by herself, she gonna say, "Oh, I need a hundred dollars, bitch." No, you don't. You only need sixty. When she <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you what she's doing. I'm gonna tell you what she's doing because my ex told me this. She's fucking off with that mother. Fucking off with the money or two. Oh, yeah. She will go to a completely new nail salon that Hell got yeah. built that's expensive as fuck. Uh -huh. Just cause she's seen it one time. Oh, yeah, I want to try it. I want to see what it's like. Not on my dollar. It's all type of. It's all Not type of different dollar. shit like that. <laughs> you yeah. better go to a regular <laughs> salon. Hey, it's all type of different shit like that. There's this. Uh, I saw this one video. There was this girl. She had got a um, pod. What? What? Whipped cream. Oh, um, okay. And the huh? boyfriend went to buy a Plan B for. Her, oh, but her school gives out Plan Bs still for know free. You still don't know what he's talking about? Oh, so, oh. By Hudo. so, so huh? she still took her boyfriend. She by her boyfriend. Oh, okay. This nigga can't. He said, okay. I don't know. Anyway, no he, context. Cool. The way he, the way he framed uh, it though. Regardless though, regardless though, she, got seven, she <laughs> told her boyfriend to buy her a Plan B, but he just gave her the cash for it. So it was like, um. What, six, well, 60, 70 bucks? Game. Yeah. Um, but the school gave him out for free. 60, oh, she ain't shit. So oh, 60, 70 bucks is crazy. Them bitches is $40. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, think it, it does, yeah. I think it depends on where you get them. Well, yeah. $50. Yeah, because I was going to say 50 I I've bought a couple on the pet. I didn't yeah, bought a couple. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. I'll be finding a way to get a discount on Plan B. You see, I got a bargain. They said they got them for $20 at Costco. 59 dollars 99 Them bitches don't work. Fifty nine ninety nine. You said you do what? You said you do what? They said it got tw for twenty dollars at Costco. Nigga, that's an uh, ibuprofen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't tried it. I ain't tried it. I'm just saying that's what they're saying. That's what the streets are saying. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? No, I pay. Usually I just go to Walgreens. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Walgreens, I usually have mm -hmm. some points stacked up. Probably be paying like thirty three dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. This nigga. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely got some you points do? stacked that's up. That's finance friendly, baby. That's finance <laughs> friendly, baby. What you about? That's yeah, finance friendly. Probably not finance friendly. Do you know come inside yeah, anyway? Sure. Well, you know, but you you know you do what you got you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, given the circumstance. Yeah. You know, yeah. Shit, motherfucker, it's fire outside. You got to put gotta get it. You got to water. You got to think of quality of life, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But y'all spending y'all didn't spend no fifty five sixty dollars for no plan B. Y'all y'all getting the wrong shit, bro. They got the same shit for the well, they got oh, my no, ass three times. I definitely spent fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, they got my ass three times. Need to do that. Yeah. Whichever one crush up better get put in the water. <laughs> they do the same shit. Forty dollars, same, just as good, just as good too. Uh, but nah, but y'all no, want to get that same, no that chances. same brand that everybody else be getting? <laughs> no chances. I ain't mad at that. Forty dollars. I ain't mad at that. Same shit. Robert the Fourth will not be bored. I ain't mad at that yet. Okay, I like that. Hey, she ain't got pregnant yet, goddamn it. For real. Hey, hey, hey. Work. Come on. Work. 
Hey yo. Hey yo. Fight. Hey yo. Hey, yo. Shit. So I tell you, goddamn. Yeah, I don't really understand the soft, soft boy area, you know. But it's I be seeing the troll. It's I be seeing. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah. I, I do understand it. But the the girl whole soft girl area thing, I don't believe that at all ever. Mm-hmm. If you yeah. need it, like, I think you're kind of. You just you're either soft or you're not quote unquote soft. Okay. You could be strong, you know. But if you just got them in a hassle to deal with all the time, and mm-hmm. like it's some girls right now. I saw a girl post some on that we went to high school with. Right. Post some on uh, her Instagram saying it's time for her to get in her soft girl era. I've been <laughs> big mama too long. Blah blah blah. Big mama. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, like mm. you know, like yeah. you know, like Lotto said. You know what I'm saying? I'm big mama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what the yeah. fuck? You know, the grandma of the household. You oh, know? Okay, but what? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what way. that's in reference to. Yeah. Being big. Well, I should have guessed. Well, yeah. Basically, yeah. Just, basically, guess just, that basically you just aggressive because you quote unquote, quote unquote need to, or mm-hmm. maybe I'm using the wrong word. Right, but you right, know right. what I'm saying? You're tough. Yeah, that's what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I didn't believe it to, at all. Not for a second. Mm. Not for a second. Because I know this woman, and she is a hassle to deal with. And no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying, yeah. no. dude, you've but, been that way too long. You ain't no soft girl air because that's just gonna come back out. I don't get it, bro. I saw a similar post. Some girl said, uh, "Well, the love of my life, he's gonna have to do everything because I'm gonna find every reason to not fall in love." I'm just like you ain't fall in love. Like, like, you don't want to fall in love, then? Like, what exactly. are you talking about? Like, why I would you? That. Yeah, she was like, happen. she was like, no, God's gonna, God's gonna send the one, and He's gonna know the pain I went through. I'm like, you're asking for perfection while being a bitch. So, <laughs> <laughs> shit, God, damn, yeah, that's good. That's good. Good lord, that's good. I'm sorry, that evoked so much emotion. No, but like, yeah. 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 it's just, way it's way just I'm, a nuisance to deal yeah, with. Literally, because the way I visualize that, what you just, what you just said, is like, that's like getting your car. And then putting a brick in front of your car. And then you gonna drive. <laughs> Bruh, right. <laughs> like, like, how the hell you gonna put drive? A, put a cinder block on your hood. Yeah, like, how the fuck, how you gonna drive? You got a, you got a brick in front yeah, of your shit. I, was, I hear the soft girl thing. I don't believe it for those things. I'm, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm just a girl shit no more. Bitch, you a succubus. I'm gonna get it. Oh my God. I need one of those. No, I don't. Hit the button. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wrong button, wrong button. Nope, that's the right button. No, hit the wrong button. Hit the button. What? Which one? No. Damn. No, 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 no. I'm Spill. not spelling succubus. <laughs> We got spell that. We got spell that. Spell suck. S U C C U B U S. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about, baby. He don't pick up a book. He got it. That nigga don't pick up a book. Shit, I'm surprised you know what one of those are. We don't read those. Okay. You need to stop that. Articles. <laughs> Articles. This kid's watching this shit. Articles. No, 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 no. Don't be putting them on. Don't read no book. Read books that are important to you, not them shit. You're watching that geographic. Read things that are important to you. Yeah, things. That's all. We don't got to be. That's right. I didn't say don't read. We right. Books is just overrated. <laughs> see, now you see, now you dragging. They are. Dragging. They are overrated. Brandon, you don't even read books. I be seeing girls. <laughs> I've read, read them before. Bro, bro, let's bro. Nah, nigga, nah, books nah, that you nah, didn't nah. like. I try to read books all the time. That I like you don't them. Like, like, that you I don't do like, like them. They clearly still make don't. me sleepy. Clearly, you don't. No, I do bro. like them. A good DJ, book is DJ. hard to put down. DJ, I, that's it. facts. That's no, facts. A good book has pictures. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Oh man, but would you say the same thing about a good TV show? What? It putting you to sleep. No, uh, well, no, yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, I'm trying to say, how many times <laughs> yeah, have you right. fell asleep on your favorite show? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a long, I'm not saying it's plot. not supposed to make you sleepy. I'm just saying that. But show doesn't make that me won't sleepy deter you. for real. Books make me sleepy. Sure, I, can sleepy. Like, I can be reading a book at one moment. Man, books, just, books, <laughs> even the greatest books, they get slow. That nigga they don't do. get sleepy. His brain Shows get slow, slow too, though. <laughs> <laughs> but part of it's also because I read slow. <laughs> Nigga, Ain't nothing wrong with that. That nigga brain overload trying to read and get sleep. Ain't nothing wrong with reading slow, y'all. <laughs> bro, I'm trying to comprehend what the hell I'm reading. Exactly. If you read yeah, slow, you, have, you, have, a, you <laughs> have a better chance of comprehension. Come on, bro. That's what they taught us in school. My fuckers, like, I be hearing motherfuckers, they flying yeah, through 400 page books in one day and they doing like a couple yeah, of hours. Nah. I'm, See, like, I'm like, how are you even retaining what the hell you're reading? You're not, though. You're not. But they swear up and down they are, though. They're not. They're not. I'm like, how? They're not. Them niggas reading every three words. Right, like, literally. literally. It's too daunting of a task. For me, you open like a book that's like, like if I were to read a book, it got to be small. Oh, no. Max 250 pages. With that boy look like David and Goliath but my thing is, that book. I was just saying, like <laughs> 500 page books, I used to read those. I don't know how the hell I was reading those books. Could you enjoy the book? 
Man, it was mm-hmm. I was still falling asleep reading them shits. Yeah. But you enjoyed it though. It took me so months, it, but so it, it took me months to finish. But you got to realize though, pace, and I don't had, like doing that. You had an initiative to pick it back up though. Yeah, exactly. Because I was trying to. Because you enjoyed it. The sure, first yes, books I was sure. reading was those Percy Jackson books, and I was so immersed yeah. in those books, they were good. Yes. yes. They were good. So it made me want to go back to it, still and took I wouldn't me fall asleep. <laughs> But I guess that's because I'm focusing my brain and my eyeballs. Dude, and there's nothing wrong words. with that. Or it's like y'all be Nobody's like, saying you got to finish the book in a week. We just saying. Y'all, y'all be reading books, be stupid as hell. Who? <laughs> Not you. Oh, okay. But I be hearing motherfuckers reading books. I read that's books. Bars. That's bars. That's y'all bars, Y'all still stupid. How does it work? But that's because we read bullshit <laughs> books. Yeah, like shit about fucking crystals and shit. Mm-hmm. 300 page books about crystals. What the fuck or are you doing? You nah, know, see, that it, shit's ridiculous. Though. It is. It is. But you got motherfuckers that think they, you know, they book wizards because they read Fifty Shades of Great. Shit is crazy as hell. While beating they shit, nigga, freak motherfuckers reading Six Shades of Grey. Well, that's, that's an actual book to fucking read, nigga. That's an erotica, you freak. Shit, they do. <laughs> you read that for Flicking a bean. Bro, you read that for enjoyment, yeah, you freak. Yeah, it's an erotica. That is funny. It is, uh, though. But DJ, it is. What, DJ, what did you have, man? What did you have, man? Oh, man. Yeah, what's up with you with this? You know, I want to talk about selective crash outs, dog. You know what I'm saying? You ever been, like, doing something by yourself and then somebody come up and fuck with you? And like you don't know who it is, so at first you like, oh, I'm about, to, I'm pissed off, I'm about to tweak out, and then you see who it is, and you like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A selective fuck- crash out. Is that fucked up? No, nah. bro. Sometimes nah. it be the frustration, and like it just be the first day. You I do did it to him certain- um, this morning. <laughs> he called me on the phone. Yeah. And I just had a whole lot of attitude, <laughs> and I know I. <laughs> It, yeah, was exactly like, what I thought of when you first brought the brought the situation. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I had to realize as a man, I'm like, damn, it, Brent ain't even do shit. It just, I'm just having a bad day, man. Like, shit going on. It be like that. Yeah, you know, he asked me a bunch of questions. I don't feel like answering. <laughs> like, you know, shit, my bad, dog. I had to apologize. You know, I, as a man, I could be when I'm wrong. You know I appreciate what I'm that because that's the first time I heard you heard you actually, you know. Apologize for that Cause nigga I be asking you questions That yeah. just normal questions Yeah he do He be like Why are you asking no questions Why do you know Why are you so nosy Nigga he got He had a new car mm-hmm. And I asked him What the car was Did you call him for that though No, no He called me to oh. see If I was going to the gym <laughs> But I was busy with the car uh, that's so I, was how like, I got oh, I was like Oh what car you get Oh my dad's car I'm like Oh but like What type of car is it And it was just oh. like so that's my top secret question. Because I was you doing all that. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? I had just gotten done dealing with my dad. Then I'm de- I'm trying to deal with my dog because he's barking out the ass. I got to put my clothes up. I still got all this stuff to do. Then type uh, t- uh, my real estate agent calling me back and forth. And I'm just like, God damn. Like everybody yeah. is just on my ass right now. Like See, shit. But you know what? It, it goes both ways though because there's certain people that have like, there's certain people that have leniency with me. Like, oh, yeah. I would never crash out on. Agreed. Agreed. Like, <sighs> agreed. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's just certain people I would just never tee up mm-hmm. with. Like, I don't know. Some niggas just got to get crashed out on. Facts. I don't, I'm be stand by that. I don't be in those type of situations, really. I really find myself in those type of situations. See, like, you know, like, it's, it's, and that's it's the goal ex- for me. It's extremely rare. That's my, the goal for me. My you know dogs get it, if anything. I ain't oh, that's the motherfucker I got to <laughs> oh, yeah. with, too. My dog oh, yeah. throwing his ass my around. Dogs, oh, okay, my cat, crazy. Cheeto. Man, I be chasing that motherfucker around at 3 a.m. 3 a.m., damn. Yeah, man. I got this little can of air. I've been using, the, you know, the little uh, pressure <laughs> air. You the can clean the PC, <laughs> right? Man, I choke slam. Well, my fuck oh my God. I'm not actually talking him, but like. I sure hope not. Pick his ass up one hand. Well, I'm about Boom! To oh, I'll be doing that with my dog. Yeah. Oh, I'll I be, tr- be like trucking mine. Yeah, my dog be happy as he thinks that's all fucking game. Yeah, but the real thing is, ain't no fucking game. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, it's a game for me. It's a game for me. I don't know about you. Hell, it, it, sometimes it's gay. It is fun to, it is fun to like, you know what I'm saying, mm. throw his ass around. But he just bites. He's a year old. His nigga just bites. He's teething. No, yeah. it's not teething. Uh, it's not teething. No, oh. he's just insane. <laughs> the other dog don't do that. It's the he same age. Dude, he don't bite you hard though, right? No, it's but a, it's, it's annoying play, though. Yeah, it's a play bite. My cat do that same shit. That's why I be chasing his ass around. But he be he spazzing though. He just he just, just, just bite the fuck out of my arm, and I get get the fuck away from me. I'll be swatted at him, and he do it two, three more times. Now you got to get no. chased around. That dog be spazzing, get that and do all type of stuff. He's disrespectful too. You sitting down, mind your business, nigga, go up. Start, <sighs> Hitting your head. Oh my God. He oh. jump on top of you and just he repeatedly do this. Like that's what he's doing. Bro. On your head. I mean, you I will this. murder you. you. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I, I feel I it though. That, that, that's what I'm saying. I feel it though. Feline teriyaki will get made in that bitch. Addiction is a little. F- no, wild. it's not fucked yeah. up. I said this I'll murder is, you or kill someone else. This like, this nigga just feline teriyaki. Oh. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. You. you Man, fuck y'all, man. You said you eat the Don't cat. Don't try though. to flip the script on me. Look, I he didn't said say he, was, he said he would try a cat though if he went to a different country. He said he'll try a cat. I would to this day. Good That's God. Crazy. And I have one. No shame. 
in my game. Uh, I ain't mad at You're her. evil. If, hey, if you're going to stand on 10 toes, you got to stand on them. God damn it. All right, Kat. No I the dog, too. Cat, you different. He different. Me fuck. Nah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. got to eat, dog. Yeah, told you told us that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, think about it. I was a little teriyaki sauce on the ass sesame seeds, love. Yeah, you're a nasty bastard. That's all I got to say. Well, he don't that. eat meat, so that's different. Yeah, bro. I should have probably be gas, and you know it. I don't know nothing. No, I heard dog just has a very, you know, unique uh, taste to it. And I don't think I'm, I don't like that that word. It's unique or acquired. Of, either way, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> you know, like, with four pussies and acquired taste. Oh, my God. That's bars, though. That is bars. Yes. Okay. I'd like to but it's not that. necessarily unique. Yes, it is. It is. I wouldn't say so. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say what it tastes like. It is. It is unique. Not all two coochies taste the same. Say it again. Not all coochies taste the same. Right. But the, I thought you said it tastes like copper. Well, some taste like. See, well, this is another dis- explanation. That was ass. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it do taste like pennies. Sometimes it do taste like the other end of a battery. Yeah. See, but there's like but that's a that's usually if they're like off they off they cycle or it's coming. That's like yeah. a line of symmetry though. Those are very similar tastes. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I just but I think we're just ignoring this. Pussy tastes like pussy. That's not but no, you, it tastes like batteries and pennies though. No, no some some are best case scenario is it tastes like almost nothing at all. Exactly. I, yeah, Factual. I was gonna say most are tasteless. What's unique about that? Yeah, but when you let that motherfucker marinate, well, motherfucker might be a little tangy. Yeah, but and there's nothing I mean, quite I, like I that like tang. A little sweat tang, not too y'all on your own with that one. Nah, man, a little chipotle adobe pepper. Oh my god, no what? Not spicy though, just like the flavor on it. You know, but I, 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 I like smoke. where you're going. Like, come I on, though, right? I like where you're going. Right? I like where you're like, going. Like, I like where you're going. Oh, I, like where you're going. I understand what he's saying though. I like where he's going. I like that. I like where he's going. That was bars. That was Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it just it just needs something. How did we get here? Who cares? We got off topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who cares, man? Um, what's going on with the, the you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, chat. I got a little, uh, I must admit, man. Um, thought about it the other day while I was at my job, you know, going out to eat. Mm-hmm. And motherfucker said, uh, if you pay for me, I got cash. I'm like, nigga, we still work at the same job. Why you ain't got no bank account? He was like, oh, no, I don't do bank accounts. What, what the, the hell? What, what, what the fuck does that mean? So, I ain't gonna lie. I've been thinking about this for years too, though. Angle life. If you carry cash, I'm questioning your lifestyle. Shit, I carry cash. I carry cash every now and then. I've always questioned your lifestyle. <laughs> I've definitely questioned yours. Um, <laughs> you about... question yours. It involves a lot of men. No, 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 no men over here. No men over here. Um, that's probably yours. But I know a lot of men. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> Crazy in the context. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I gotta break that barrier, man. I talk about men like what? I talk to a lot of men. I interact with a lot of men. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> because it's you motherfucker. The, because oh, it's like the 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 clip is going to be crazy. <laughs> but like it's just like you're being genuine. That's what makes it funny. <laughs> you being you being honest. Like you being for real. And he's not crazy. He just sounds crazy. <laughs> it just no, sounds no. wild. Um, that needs a good clip. Um, shit. But yeah, I, you know, because I would think in my head, like, what professions do you need cash for? You selling ass? Yeah. Strippers, drug lords. Or like every other utility in the world, like paying for fast food or going to the grocery store or buying your way into an arcade. But aren't we the same motherfuckers who complain about, you know, establishments not having chip readers and shit like that? Yes. Yeah, it's 2024. I don't know why y'all niggas need to carry cash like that. And like, it's easy because if you lose your wallet, like, I know how the world works. Like, if I find a wallet, I'm taking that goddamn money. Now, so, granted, if you take Mm -hmm. my car, if I lose my wallet, I I know I can't find a Mm -hmm. motherfucker. I just turn that card off. off. Yeah. Man. And like the bank is they'll detect fraud. Like they can't pull they can only pull so much money out. Y'all just yeah. don't know, man. It's just random shit that be going on. It'd be random ass food trucks that don't take card or don't have cash at Brazil. And well, you, you will not catch yeah, there, is, there are some food and trucks that do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. But also it's also just helps me regulate my money. Like yeah, I'll pull out okay. like let's I've say let's say for a week I only am gonna spend a hundred bucks on food. Mm-hmm. I can pull that out, have it in my wallet, and that's just what I use whenever I go and get yeah. food. I tried that. Did not work. That shit worked. <laughs> I, I think you just... <laughs> just a hungry bastard. I don't want to say I the would, word. No, I wouldn't say that. It, I don't think it was that. I think it was just the fact that, like, um, the change was fucking me up. So, I like... Because I was having all this random ass change, and then... Mr. Krabs, I love change. Yeah, I was putting it up, but at the same time, it was just like, this is kind of redundant. I might as well just put the card in. 
I don't really see the benefit. Right, we got enough time for your last topic or no? Um, yeah, we can get into it. We can uh, make it. We can make it short and sweet. Right, man, um, man. we kind of, I kind of brought it up yesterday about stop trying to heal people. Uh, people have this savior complex, and I, I get it. You want to help your loved ones, but there's a void that you will never be able to fill in a person's life if they need healing. People need to be able to measure their own value they need to find love in themselves and you can occupy that space only for so long because after a while they're still just gonna feel that self um that's where i'm looking for that self uh self-hate shit they got that emptiness know. man there's a word for it that i wanted to use <laughs> oh, shit, but i, I forgot know. regardless at the end of the day you can't measure your own value with someone else's tape oh god no, that's that's deep. That hit home for me, shit. Mm -hmm. Cause you know I ain't no Captain Save a hole. Definitely. I tried, have but I've definitely tried. Yeah. I've definitely tried. I've tried. I had to give it up. I haven't okay. tried that. I've tried. Heartbroken. You know, I I at one point thought it was a um, you know, it was my type at one point. What hose? No. Oh. Damaged. Oh, damaged. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can understand that. I feel like every girl I mess with got some some sort of daddy issues. Man, mm -hmm. I do feel like. I attract damaged individuals. And like, and like the mindset when I. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, in his face. I said, mm -hmm. God, man, an epiphany. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just like the mindset when I have when I go into it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make her life better. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fix all the problems and all that shit, my stupid ass. I'm just one black ass motherfucker. Yeah, I, you I are ain't Jesus. Little, yeah. You die. <laughs> um, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I think it's very important because I feel like you start to lose yourself in trying to heal everybody else. Yeah, definitely. So, you know. I think um, I really wanted to bring it up just because, like you said, I've gone through those experiences myself, and I think I neglected my own needs, mm -hmm. and I, there's just so mm -hmm. much more progression I think mm -hmm. I could have gone through at this point in my life. And uh, I I'm just a selfish bastard. Yeah, I man. <laughs> <laughs> but you've always been locked in like that, though. Like, you've always been, you know, Brandon, 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 which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. It's, uh, it's respectable. Yeah. It, but it gets to a certain point where it's too much. I wouldn't like check it up on anybody, and because mm -hmm. I was that's how I dealt with. I, that's how I knew how to deal with my shit. I would mm -hmm. just do it yourself. internalize it mm -hmm. and shit like that. But right. mm -hmm. that's not how everyone does some shit. Some people need that. Yeah. Oh no, I used to self isolate too. They yeah, we, that, I, we we all in a similar boat with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't call nobody. Don't tell nobody nothing. Just mm -hmm. you know, put your head down and get through it. Thug it out. Yeah. Shit. But you know, it's not healthy. That's what I was taught growing up. Shit. You only gonna have yourself. I mean, it's, people say it's not healthy. It definitely, I'm not going to say that it just is healthy, but I think there's it's more to it. There's strength in it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, because sometimes people, they want you to say stuff where you're not even ready to talk about it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And you do, have to give, you do have to give yourself that time, for sure. But to hold it in forever. That could be problematic. There's things I'm taking to the grave, for sure. I feel like everyone has to Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah but that Batman can get out of No, Batman probably could. Oh yeah, he beating your ass to a pole. I'm, I'm kind of an open book, yeah. you know. So. Yeah, probably could. Nah, see, I'm, I'm not. I've said that I am, but I am not. And I actually take pride in that because mm. I'm like, you only know what I allow you to know. Yeah, and it gives me more. It feels like it, it empowers me. People, people do overshare. Ah oh, man, I don't know. I try to, I try to be more vulnerable. That's something I've been mm -hmm. working on. Twenty twenty four, trying to be more vulnerable. Just because I feel like I miss out on a lot of relationships because I'm so shut off. Mm -hmm. But in the same breath, I'm not going to say you're trying to act like I just like everybody. I don't like a lot of motherfuckers. Well, that's uh, facts. Um, I do not like niggas. Yeah, I do not like motherfuckers. That don't mean just black people. I do not like motherfuckers in general. I mean, there's a lot of black people I don't like for sure. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's, not, it's not exclusive. Yeah, not exclusive. Oh, oh, not at all. Because okay, yeah. I go through life all the time. I'm like, damn, I can't stand your ass. <laughs> yeah. And I wear it on my, I've gotten bad at wearing it on my face. Like, oh, me, wow. like motherfuckers will ask me to do shit and I just look at them. I won't even nod my head. I've gotten real bad at that too. Like yeah. at my job, bro. Like my managers, they all say the same thing to my man or to my other managers. They be like, he don't like me. <laughs> they don't be wrong. <laughs> you know? Okay. They ask me to do shit, I just look at them. I just walk away. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's a little bit of just me being on Zoom calls all the time for school. Motherfuckers just be talking, the chat, and I just be sitting there with that fucking facial expression, like, fuck this. I shit, don't give a damn. Man. Right. I don't give a damn. You just get used to that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I think, but, contrary to, I, I don't really always feel like this, but I think I'm kind of a people person to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. I'll say so. I mean, that's only you can judge. Only you can judge that. I'm, I'm a people's person. 
I don't mean I like a lot. I'm a people person. Yeah, I'm a people person too. I just don't like a lot of motherfuckers. I just I know how to work. I know how to work with people though. I'm a social. I'm troll. I'm good at faking it. I'm good at faking it. A very social troll. I go. I just fuck with people. That's what I like doing. This nigga. Yeah, but it's weird with me. So I, I'll, I'll share some shit that I think a lot of people won't. But at the same point in time, some people say some stuff. I'm like, yeah, you can beat that out of me. Facts. <laughs> it's Factual. Good. Like I still I share yeah. all silly shit. You know the hemorrhoid shit. Like most people, yeah, like some shit. Like yeah, but they be like embarrassing stories. Yeah, embarrassing yeah. stuff. Like I'm not afraid yeah. to tell some stuff but, like that. Or like, some of my problems. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I fell in the shower beating my meat once. But, oh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Nigga, how rigorous were you going with? with my, the that, you haven't done that before. I fell. Nigga, my leg well, locked. Beating your meat. I don't mm-hmm. beat in the shower very often. I tried it, and that's when I fell. It only worked after that falling. I was like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, me too. Shit. <laughs> now you got work. people knocking on the door. You all right? You you good enough? Now I'm embarrassed and I shit. I done fell, yeah, but I wouldn't beat my, my, my fucking Oh, so penis. you just slipping just standing there, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I fell in the trying to move on his ass. that Rocky shit slipping on semen and shit. <laughs> That's y'all niggas. Oh. <laughs> 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 I get out. I get out. I get out. That's great. I feel like reaching for some soap or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, something like that. That damn soap bottle boy be causing hell. Boy. Yeah. It's not like war going off. Or like maybe like if I dropped the soap and I had to go pick it up, I might have like slipped trying to dr- pick up the soap or something no, like that. <laughs> That'd be hell of a break up in the prison. That's how funny as hell. That'd be hell of a Trying to pick up the soap, but you slip and fall. <laughs> the one time I slept and fell in the fucking shower, I was reaching for my towel that I left in the sink. And I was trying to get out. <laughs> and then my fucking left foot just yeah. came out on your face. Dude. Oh, man. I, mean, I try to step out because, you know, sometimes you got to, like, you know, sometimes in the shower, you feel that shit coming again. You got to go through <laughs> But I found out why I had to go all the way to do he that. The but also, <laughs> but also, but also these days, if I got sh- if I got Ooh. if I got shit in the middle of the shower, bro, I'm not I'm not getting out, man. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my ass, do whatever. And right when I get out, and right when I get out, right when I get out, farting, I'm farting, carrying oh. on. It is we're gonna just rock. We're gonna let it rock. Cause, Cause wet dookies ain't it at all. That's a good one. We fresh out the shower. That's a good one. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a, a break. One. That ain't it, bro. It just, that is a good And then everything's one. amplified in that. I feel like... I agree. <laughs> I feel like... Dude, I agree. You know I, mean, I feel bro. like... It's because it's, it's, it's of the condensation it's and it's all. more yeah. sensitive. Yeah, but like, I feel you know, like after you take a bath, right. you go take a dookie to suds, carry it out. That nigga's so weird. <laughs> He that's say, weird. Hey, he the same nigga that said, you know, he let the water run through his ass crack. He, he said he liked well, it. I guess it all adds up. I guess it all right, adds up. Let the suns carry it out. So it's like, <laughs> it all adds bad, up. Bro. You know what? I respect it. it you know, it, the story is linear. Ain't none. Ain't none out of culture. We can talk about. I, I can't be mad at him. Suns. He's standing on his two toes. About, I can't soap, be mad at him. You talking about the soap suns? Yeah, the soap suns. But you saying if you take a shit like in the middle of the shower, like not not in not in the shower, but you gotta get you gotta get out and get in the you still mid shower. You're not finished showering. You have to like take yeah, a break. The, the sun's gonna carry it out, so it's gonna. You feel me? I don't like the feeling of that. He do. He chuckled. Bro, why you gotta? I mean, you said it. I mean, we just right. going with the story. You, know what <laughs> you got 15 more <laughs> no, minutes up, man. Y'all down, getting that man. Patreon, man? Click that link in the description too. BSB POD, BSB Pod, man. Get you them sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Lego sneakers. Get it for a friend. Get it for yourself. Whatever the case may be. Hey.